Today's recipe is all about comfort food and not just any comfort food. We're talking cheesy french fries with homemade ranch. This is one of the most delicious potato dishes ever. The french fries have an incredible texture to them and then you pair that with a melted cheese and that homemade ranch for seriously the biggest explosion of flavors ever. Now the inspiration behind this recipe comes from my time in California. There was a restaurant called Islands and they had the best ever cheesy fries that you dipped into ranch. Hey, if you've been to Islands, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyways, that's the inspiration here. Of course, I'm gonna add a Spanish flair here to give it a beautiful lift of flavors and take these cheesy fries to the next level in greatness guys so easy to make so many amazing flavors let's dive right in I'm gonna begin by rinsing four medium-sized Yukon Gold potatoes under some cold running water and scrubbing each one clean. As you can see, I'm leaving the skins on the potato just because it gives them a beautiful texture and flavor, but if you prefer, you can peel your potatoes. Once the potatoes are well cleaned, make sure you pat them completely dry. To cut the potatoes into the form of french fries, I like to cut off about a quarter inch from each end. Then we can easily stand the potato and cut it into vertical slices that are a quarter inch thick. And from each piece of potato, cut it into quarter inch thick slices to end up with your french fries. And as you're cutting your potatoes, transfer them into a large bowl. Once I have all my potatoes cut, I'm gonna fill the bowl with some cold water to about half inch above the potatoes and let it sit here for at least 30 minutes. If you're in a hurry, you can skip this step. This just helps release some of the starch in the potatoes. That way when you bake them, they have a beautiful crispy texture. After leaving our potatoes to soak for at least 30 minutes, I'm gonna drain them into a strainer, rinse the potatoes with some cold running water, Add them into a dishcloth and pat them completely dry. Once the potatoes are well dried, I'm going to add them back into the bowl. I did dry the bowl beforehand. Then I'm going to add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, a generous half teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder and season with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna to toss this all together until everything's well combined. This is such an important step. That way that olive oil and all those seasonings are perfectly coating each piece of potato. Then I'm gonna add the potatoes into a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper and make sure they're all in a single layer, that way they all cook evenly. And I'm gonna add this into a preheated oven, bake and roll option, 250 degrees Celsius, which is 475 degrees Fahrenheit. If your oven doesn't have the bake and roll option at the same time, no big deal, just bake them for the exact same amount of time when cooking these, and then add them to the broiler between two to three minutes. All right, while our potatoes are in the oven, let's make our easy homemade ranch dressing and get our cheese ready. I'm gonna grab one container of Greek yogurt. This is at room temperature and add it into a bowl. This equals exactly half a cup of Greek yogurt. Then I'm gonna shred in one large clove of garlic. Add in a generous half teaspoon of dried dill. Squeeze in half a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice and pour in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna lightly season it with sea salt and a generous portion of freshly cracked black pepper. The black pepper brings out an incredible flavor in the yogurt. And I'm gonna whisk this all together until it's perfectly combined. Once the ranch dressing is done, let's move on to the cheese. I have a seven ounce block here of a mild manchego cheese. This one easily melts, but it has a beautiful nutty flavor. I'm gonna shred a generous two cups of this. You can use whatever cheese you want here. Just make sure that it easily melts. Okay, let's move back to our potatoes. They've been in the oven for exactly 30 minutes and they should be perfectly cooked. I'm gonna take them out of the oven. Transfer the french fries into an oven-proof pan. If you don't have an oven-proof pan, just leave them in the baking tray. 
I'm gonna evenly divide the shredded cheese over the potatoes. And add it back into the oven until that cheese is fully melted. For the final step, let's add our homemade ranch dressing on top of these potatoes. I'm gonna add my ranch dressing into a Ziploc bag and cut the tip of it. And I'm gonna add the ranch dressing in there. This is used for design, so it has a beautiful presentation. You can just add a dollop of the ranch dressing on top of the potatoes. And I'm gonna sprinkle it with some freshly chopped chives. Seriously, I don't think it gets better than this. Here we go. Again, it's one of those dishes where I'm kind of dumped. I don't know, it truly is an explosion of flavors. The potatoes have an incredible texture to them and the flavors, that mild manchego cheese, so good. That homemade ranch dressing, the garlic powder, the sweet smoked Spanish pepper, even the chives on top that adds a beautiful uh, freshness to it, guys. What an incredible dish. This is a restaurant quality dish, but elevated to the next level. So easy to make, made with the most basic ingredients. Make this at home and it will completely blow you away. <laughs> really quick before I go, a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Michael and Kelly Thompson. Again, guys, thank you so much for all your support. Truly appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming a patron. Help with the ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. And if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.